probably a weather app. I have like six of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I love singing, I love dancing, but I can't do it. Just I, I'm really bad at it. So I'll come in last, but I would enjoy it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fatima Fernandez Cano and I am a rookie on the LPGA Tour this year. Uh, it's been a lot of learning, a um, bit of a learning curve. I mean, golf is the same and, and all that stuff, we know that. But it's kind of like going back to being a rookie, uh, getting used to life on tour and a bigger tour. Uh, it's, there's more going on on this tour than there is in the Epson tour. I feel like everything is just a little bit bigger, just a little bit. Everything is better in a way, um, so uh, just lots of learning. Uh, unfortunately, my golf game has not been great so far, but just kind of staying patient and staying with it. Uh, I don't know. In general, it's a little bit more professional than, than what I was used to. Like Epson Tour is great; it gave me the opportunity uh, to get out here on tour. But there is more fans out here. There is TV, and those things I was just not that used to. I don't know. It's just going back to being a rookie in a way. Uh, but I know I have the game, I know, you know I'm having a good time. It's, it's great to be here for sure, um, so just keeping at it. Uh, I try not to think about that stuff, just not to be so like starstruck in a way, you know what I mean? I, I try to keep doing the same thing and I try to, try to convince myself and I know that I can be playing out here, that I have the game. Um, so I, pro I just try not to, not to think about that stuff. I always enjoy playing with my my, Sp my Spaniards, I guess. Uh, so, for instance, Carlota is somebody that I looked up to uh, for the longest time, of course, I still do. Um, and she's one of the people that I go for, for advice, so that's actually great to kind of like have that friendship and have that kind of people around me. I guess for me, being from Spain, I always look up to the Spaniards that came for me, I guess. And in this case, I have a really big name to look up to, both, I guess, Carlota and Azahara. Um, are big names that I've always looked up to, always followed. Um, so it's kind of cool to, to be here uh, and surrounded with by them. And of course, like everybody else, I, I love watching golf. I love golf on TV. So I uh, kind of it's cool to be playing in a place that I used to just watch on TV, I guess. Uh, I think it was my mom. It was actually when I had secured my card, I was in a tournament. I was uh, at the Murphy USA in um, Arkansas. And I knew that a top 10 uh, would give me enough points to, to be in the LPGA. It was not quite official, but I, I knew it. I had done the bag. <laughs> um, and I was standing on the last green, on 18th green. I, was, I had a chance to win that day, actually, but I didn't. And I looked, I had a local caddy, I had a volunteer caddy. And I looked at him and I said, listen, we're not going to win this week. But just so you know, this finish will get me into the LPGA next year. So like that kind of like gives me goosebumps to think about. Uh, my College men's coach had recruited me to go to college uh, at Troy University. He actually was there watching, uh, so he bought me a beer and we had a we cheers to a beer, uh, kind of uh, said congrats and all that. And then on my I had to rush out because I had to, to catch a flight. And on my way out, I called my mom and I said that's it, like we did it, it's done. And then I think I called my boyfriend and I said, you know, this is it, it's officially LBJ. And then a few of my sponsors that have been super helpful. Uh, from my career and just kind of thank them. Uh, I came for like a month to study a little to study English in 2012. I think it was like August. Just kind of like do some some studying for the SATs and stuff like that. But the first time that I went to my university in Troy, Alabama, was literally the month that I was starting school there. Like I didn't go on a visit or anything. So it was kind of over the phone. They had called me and said we have a we have a scholarship for you if you want it and I said sure let's, let's do it and I hopped on the plane and, and got over here to go to school. Well from uh, from somebody in, that's used to like a living in a city in Spain um, to just kind of Troy Alabama that was just everything was different. Everything was different. I, I remember uh, love Troy University Great people, great place. Uh, I remember driving from Montgomery Airport. They, they had come and picked me up, Montgomery Airport to Troy University. All I saw was like fields, both sides, and, and I kind of said, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> but I did, and it was great. It was a great opportunity they gave me. I got, a, I got a degree. I got to play all four years in college, and you know, it kind of set me up for what was next. Ooh, I'm rewatching Modern Family. 
I am a fan of just like easy comedy and Modern Family is definitely, definitely out there. God, that's a great question. Oh, a Spanish actor, Mario Casas. There you go. His favorite workout. I do not love cardio in the gym. Um, I hate running in a treadmill. It, I dread it. I don't really do it. So, but if I were to have to do it, that would be it. Um, for any other thing, I, I enjoy lifting weights and stuff. So all those exercises are good. I enjoy doing cardio at the gym. Yes, I'm, I'm okay with running outside, trail running and all that stuff I, I love, but I can't just stare at a screen and, and run that, not a fan. Most used app. If any kind, it would be a weather app because I'm a golfer, so you always have to be checking how, how or where the weather is. Um, then the next one, probably WhatsApp, to talk with my family back home. Uh, usually, when I'm in tournaments, a, a breathing up. I do like five minutes of, of breathing. And sometimes I, you know, when I'm at home, I use Instagram a little bit too much and that's probably one of the main ones. <laughs> yes, many. Uh, I love being outside. I love, I love hiking. Hiking could probably be the main one for me. Everywhere I go, I, I find like a little hike that I do just to get outside and all that. I enjoy paddleboarding, love being in the water. Um, I do a little bit of rock climbing as well. So just anything that I can get my hands on, honestly. Mm, yes, I do have one. Um, what's the name? Uh, it's a Spanish one, so you're not gonna know it, but it's, it says, Hey Chipiron, todos los días sale el sol Chipiron, which is a very uplifting, happy song. Um, I will come in last, because I love singing, I love dancing. Usually it's just in my car, by myself but I can't do it, just I, I'm really bad at it. So I'll come in last, but I would enjoy it. Uh, I would just say keep going, enjoy, enjoy what you're doing. Um, it's, I guess I would say it's gonna work out. Uh, it's easy to have all our doubts kind of creep up into our heads and, and kind of wonder, is it worth it what I'm doing? Or sometimes just get too serious about it. So I guess I would say two things, one, it's gonna be okay. Either way, it's gonna be okay. Whether you make it or you don't, whether you go one way or the other, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be just fine. Um, and I guess just enjoy what you're doing because it's, it's a good ride. Uh, 여러분들이 여태까지 알지 못했던 선수들의 뒷이야기도 들어보시고 그리고 투어 이야기도 들을 수 있는 어, LPGA 코리아 유튜브 많이 많이 사랑해 주시고요. 구독과 좋아요 잊지 마시고 알람 설정까지 해 두시면 어, 항상 LPGA 투어 선수들과 함께 하는 기분이 드실 수 있을 것 같습니다. 그럼 LPGA 코리아 유튜브 많이 많이 사랑해 주세요.